Hey guys, back from Eastwood. We are not in my shop. We are in my house and much like a lot of you, you are having a lot of time you're spending at home and uh, you're finding some projects to do around the garage and also in the house. So what I'm going to show you guys today is a quick little project you can do if you have some partial cans of paint that you want to use up. You can do small little house projects before you actually throw them in the trash and waste the paint. You can find some little projects to do around the house and if they're good enough for your automotive restoration, they're definitely good enough for small house projects. So what we're going to work on today is a little antique trivet that we have that is, has some local history and some sentimental value to us and it, over years and years of use it's gotten rusty and it's just in, in poor shape. So we're going to take this down to the shop put it in the blast cabinet, get it all blasted and clean. And then we're gonna use up a uh, can of 2K Aerospray high temp engine primer. Thank you. And we are going to uh, actually spray the primer because I cracked this open about a week ago. And, uh, and then we're gonna use a can of high temp uh, header paint that will be more than adequate for the temperatures this is going to see. And we'll get this thing looking really good here soon. All right, so I let the trivet dry overnight just so it was good to handle and we could start putting it into use. And I'm really happy with how it came out. The, uh, the sheen of the black with the header paint uh, is actually perfect. It looks just how it would have probably looked when it was brand new with that really dull black finish on it. So uh, now that we have this all done, I know that it's good to the temps that it's going to see because we used a high temp engine primer that was a 2K product. And then we used the high heat header paint on top of that. That's uh, going to be more than adequate for this. So we can put it right back into use. It looks good. It's not rusty. And the best part was we used up some of our Eastwood paint in the cans that were near the end and might have been nearing their lives. And uh, now you don't have to throw it away and waste the money that you spent on the paint and also the paint itself. If you guys want to learn more about the products you saw in this video, you can click the link down below or you can visit eastwood.com. You get all the tools you need to do the job right. Thanks, guys.